just to follow up on this from yesterday let me show you actually there's a few bees coming back to here if you can see it there's a few bees coming back there which is where the entrance is because the lid's obviously still underneath or the, the floor is still underneath the lid but they are milling around and there's a few blowing out here as well so they're kind of talking to each other with pheromone so these ones still there they've survived the night and just tip it back i haven't looked myself yet Well, possibly there's less in there now than what there was and they are coming up and going down there but they only do it one at a time so there's no fighting there's a little bit of wax here wax cappings so they've maybe come up and investigated see them or not it's worked enough for me <clears throat> because there's empty frames up here which are drawn out without any brood in them and plenty of food I want the queen to come up and then she can lay in there so once she starts laying I can then split them get two colonies back from that one crown board that was on the grey hive is now on top of the green hive so there'll be a little bit of pheromone on the wood and the few bees that are in amongst it all so they'll mingle but for me that's worked back together again and I've obviously let the bees out of there the, the, the majority of the forager bees the flyers out that haven't managed to go through that single hole and out into the box they've come out but they want to go back in but they think the nest is there it isn't but I can't actually see them flying around and landing over here so hopefully when I come back later on there won't be any bees there they would have made it back into there and when they do come back because they're going to be carrying pollen they're going to be carrying food chances are they'll recognize the pheromone and they'll be let in because they come bearing gifts <laughs> 